So here's the story. I'm sitting in the living room with my wife and we're just talking, having a nice conversation when all of a sudden I notice a drop of water hit the floor. What? I, I look up and what do I see? It's, it's a huge water spot in the center of the ceiling. I, I drop everything and just run upstairs as fast as I can. I know what I'm gonna find though. I burst open through the door and it's my 75 gallon tank halfway full of water. The rest of the water's on the floor. This sucks. So I run down and get some towels and start cleaning this mess up and trying to keep the fish alive while the water level's dropping. It's just a complete nightmare. And then, and then, I look over to the other side of the room and my alarm goes off and I wake up. Okay, hold on, I didn't clickbait you. There's more to this story. That alarm that went off wasn't my normal wake-up alarm that I wake up to every morning. No, no. It was my siren that's linked to the water detectors underneath each of these tanks. So I run out of bed as fast as I can. Keep in mind, this is about two in the morning. And I run out to check all of the tanks. The water level looks good on all of them. But I, I check all the filters and the totes that they're in to make sure that I don't fill any water. And I don't. And I might not be doing the greatest job in the world because it's so early in the morning. Nope. But I feel like there's no reason to stay up, so I hop back in bed and go back to sleep. End of story until 5 o'clock that night when I do a water change. I turn off one of the FX6 filters on the 240 behind me, and the siren goes off again. Not again! And here's why. You will subscribe. Ding, ding. I know I must have missed something when I checked last night, so I check all the pans and totes I have for my three FX6 filters on Alcatraz. It has to be this tank, and it must be related to the filters turning on and off on their own like they're designed to, or when I turn them off, because that's when the alarm sounded. These two aren't leaking. I check around the lid for any leaks, and this one seems fine, until I check the bottom of the tote. And that's where I find my special surprise. I unhook the filter and bring it over to my operating table. Just look at this water. I feel lucky that I caught this before it turned into my nightmare story that I told you about. So I check around the impeller motor housing, nothing going on there. Might as well check around the top again. And this is where my problem is. One of the clamps wasn't tightened properly, causing the lid not to seal completely in one spot. It's easy to see from this side that there was a problem, but this side was facing the rear. It was only leaking sporadically or there would be much more water than this. When the FX6 purges air from its hoses daily, the force will push water out of any openings as well. And that's why there are hard water stains at the bottom of this tote, because it was drying between purges. Anyway, water was spraying out of the opening and some was making it onto the floor where the stand sits and the wood's damp. Time to pull out my chief drying weapon, my wife's blow dryer that she thinks she lost but it actually resides in my fish supply cabinet, oh yes. Here's what the back inside wall of the tote looks like with all the hard water stains, by the way. Even though I know what the problem was, I still want to give a quick check to the O-rings that I can easily inspect. That includes the rings on the input and output, and also the ring on the underside of the lid. There are many more O-rings on the FX6. Check out my video upper right corner for more on those. Putting the lid back on securely this time, hitting each of those clamps. And here we are all clamped down. A bonus points to anyone who knows which movie is on that TV. Got this thing back in its home all hooked up? All I can say is it's a good thing that siren went off. Now I know what you're thinking, that this siren was going off while I was having the dream and that's why I had the dream that there was a leak. But you can't sleep through this siren. Let me show you. The siren sits really close to my side of the bed on my nightstand as you can see. Now check out how noisy this siren is. Might wanna turn your speakers down for this. It's about as bad as a smoke detector. And these things aren't just great for filters and tanks. No, you can put them under your kitchen sink, under the bathroom sink, anywhere a leak is possible. So the point of this video, guys, is that if you have a canister filter, make sure it's in a tote with an alarm of some kind. And that way, if it has a small leak, you'll be notified before it becomes a huge leak and starts to destroy your home. You've been watching The Cichlid Charmer, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.